Kasubong sa iban nga mga siyudad sa Pilipinas, wala man nagpaulihi ang San Carlos City sa Negros Occidental kung turismo ang istoryahan. Halin sa matahom ng mga natural sceneries, pati man sa man-made creations, ideal gid sa tanan nga explorers ang ining lugar. Siyempre, subong nga aga, hindi pwede nga ma-imagine lang taha kaya mga pwede lagawan sa sining nga siyudad, lantawon ta na. Hi there mga kapuso, welcome back! Pack your bags, sorry mga biyahe naman ta, padulong sa isa ka lugar nga ba, paborito ko gigantuan, San Carlos City, Negros Occidental. Manami nga mga destinasyon, hag manamit pa nga mga pagkaon with us is the Tourism Operations Officer 1 of San Carlos LGU. Ma'am Jennifer Sabalia Paran. Hi ma'am, good morning. Welcome back to Jemmy Regional TV Early Edition. May aga. Hello, Sir Adrian. Good morning. Vamos, San Carlos, second class component city. Pwede mo kami mahatagan sa gamay ng detalye about sa matahog ng siyudad sa San Carlos? So, yes, we are a second class component city and is composed of 18 barangays. Uh, San Carlos City is a strategic location because we are a gateway for tourists coming from Cebu, Dumaguete, and Bacolod. And also, San Carlos City is a two-time ASEAN Clean Tourist City awardee, top 100 sustainable destinations, and of course, 2017 second most livable city in the world by Livcom Award. Boundary sa Negros Occidental ang San Carlos City. Ano ang mga nami ng mga tourist spots nga pwede naton makatuan sa inyong lugar? Let's do a virtual tour now na! Okay, so you know what, Sir Adrian? One of the unique features of our city is that in terms of tourist spots, we have something to offer from ridge to ridge. So let's start from our nature adventure in our mountain barangays. So we have our majestic Magon on Waterfalls in Barangay Kutkut. So this is for tourists who want to go trekking and commune with nature with the company of course of our friendly Magon on Tour Guides. One can also go trekking with of course the company of our Mayana Peak Tour Guides our friendly tour guides in Mayana Peak and enjoy a bird's eye view of San Carlos City. And soon, we will open our tourist-friendly cave located at Barangay Quezon. So now, let's go to our island destination. Sipaway offers marine activities and other island experiences. So, diri naman kita sa city proper. One can enjoy the beauty and cool environment of People's Park and then relax or one can go swimming in the pool and is often ideal for family bonding. And of course, when we speak of San Carlos, hindi na madula ang predica bride experience around the city. Speaking of white sand beaches, sikat yun ang si Pawai Island. Ma'am, pabugal bisamon. Paano ni makatuan kag ano pang iba yung mga isla nga pwede naton madiskobrehan sa inyo lugar? Okay, so if you want to relax away from the bustling city life, uh, we invite you all to come and visit Sipaway Island because it is just a 15 to 20 minute punk boat ride from the mainland. So Sipaway now is not just an island destination, not just a place where one can enjoy the beautiful sea waters, but now it is a tourist hub where one can experience different unique Sipaway cultures. In the island, one can enjoy the serenity of the place and then savor the delectable seafoods and other delicacies such as bukayo and salvaro, especially made by our local residents in Sipaway. A lot of resorts are also present in the island for everybody's information. So uh, these resorts are offering their respective unique activities. So, and isa pa git sa mga ginabugal is our homestay because not only it is an affordable form of accommodation, but tourists can immerse with our local residents and learn their everyday living. In fact, some of our homestay operators are offering tour experiences such as Panginhas, isa na siya sa livelihood in the island. And then, tourists can also dive in our marine protected areas, namely, Camotes Reef and San Juan Reef. Kumbaga, it's the experience that we sell in Sipaway Island. 
Tell us more about the landmarks, historical places, nga pwede pamasyaran sa aton mga kapuso, magbisita sila sa San Carlos. Okay, so San Carlos City has a lot of landmarks and historical sites that are often known to many. So one is our century-old Balete Tree in Sipaway Island, involving some stories and folklores, and is the reason why it is called as an enchanted tree. So, diri naman sa city proper, we have our San Carlos Borromeo Cathedral. Uh, of course, our some of her historical buildings, including other uh, historical sites, which were significant during World War II. So I am telling you, you can appreciate them all if you come and visit San Carlos City mismo. Ma'am Jennifer Sabalia Paran, good morning. Thank you sa liwat nga pagbisita. See you around. Bye! Okay, so thank you also for uh, choosing San Carlos City as nga ma-feature ninyo sa inyong uh, ano, inyo show. So thank you so much, Kapuso. Thank you, GMA. O, dira lang ka mga dong switch channels para ay na magtuto mga kapuso kay isa na naman, kakapuso ta ang atin makaupod sa Best Talk sa pagbalik sa inyong paborito nga programa ko na aga Gemma Regional TV Early Edition Ini ang GMA Regional TV Early Edition